socially, it's hard to be really accepted there. Mm -hmm. So I, want, I wanted to learn how to pray, I wanted to learn Arabic, and when I called the masjids, nobody responded to me. Mm -hmm. So I started this program so that we could offer, we have sisters' Quranic Arabic classes for reading Quran, mm -hmm. we have an Akita class, mm -hmm. we have a sisters' Halakha that meets, and right. we work very closely actually with Y Islam, Y Islam does Dawah, so we do Dawah booths. Mm -hmm. And the best example, is I think by attraction rather than promotion. Mm -hmm. When they see a good Muslim, yes, and um, they see them behaving well. That's how I was initially attracted. Somebody who behaves well and and believes in God and prays mm -hmm. and is a good person, honest. Mm -hmm. um, they want to learn a little bit more. Yes, and so as in, in terms of people accepting Islam, do you find that there are a lot of women who are becoming Muslim these days, even in spite of the climate we're in and the negative media coverage. Alhamdulillah, we had coming? a 15-year-old girl make her shahada. Um, she came to our sister's halakha. Her mom had made shahada eight months before, and uh, there was no pressure on her, but she heard something she really liked about the Prophet, called for some follow-up questions, and, and she felt inspired. And at a time when we worry about our children in this country, when we worry about drinking, you worry about drugs, you worry about all of these things. Mm -hmm. Here's a 15-year-old, you know, reading Islamic literature and saying, I want to be a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. 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 So I do think that there are more people open to Islam, but the way that you approach them is very, very important. So you say that in spite of what's going on, uh, the negative image being portrayed by the media about Islam, many women are still accepting Islam. Yes, especially amongst the Hispanic community here. Uh -huh. And we're in New Brunswick, there's a high Hispanic population. Mm -hmm. The number of Hispanic Muslims is really climbing. Mm -hmm. uh, what I think happens sometimes, too, is folks hear the negativity, and mm -hmm. they're smarter than that. Yeah. And they say, that can't be right, that can't be true. What they're saying about um, Muslims can't be right, and this makes them go and investigate. Mm -hmm. And when they do investigate, or even sometimes they'll come and be combative. They mm -hmm. wrote an article, a very negative article, about not wanting to see pictures of women in hijab uh -huh. um, on the newspaper. So, mm -hmm. you know, we wrote back and we invited them to the open house. We have open houses at the masjid mm -hmm. where we have somebody come and give a lecture about Islam, very basic information mm -hmm. about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and, mm -hmm. and other um, activities going on at the masjid. And we, we give them dinner, we give literature and Qurans away to them. And those that come with an open mind, you stay much longer than they intended to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's all we can do is open the door mm -hmm. and show them kindness and hopefully they'll come back. So I think sometimes the media, you know, if you watch certain television stations here, like Fox News is, you know, notorious for putting all of the negativity in mm -hmm. front of the people. Mm -hmm. And it's hard for them not to believe that because I used to believe very strongly that there's total freedom of speech here and everything you saw on television was the truth. Mm -hmm. And then when I met Muslims and I started watching Arabic television, mm -hmm. and then I started watching, I think it's BBC, mm -hmm. I started watching channels from other places in the world and I realized that they, they don't tell us the truth all the time. Mm -hmm. And so in some ways, I'm not saying we're not responsible for finding out that truth, mm -hmm. but in some ways, uh, many Americans have a negative opinion of Muslims the same way many Muslims have a negative opinion of Americans. Mm -hmm. I was raised in a very conservative family mm -hmm. where things like virginity and family and morals and, and, and obeying God and going to church, mm -hmm. well, these things were instilled in my family. Yes. But many folks from overseas don't see that. They see only the girls with the short skirts and the misbehavior and you know the boys that are misbehaving. And so they kind of have their picture of us as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of communication. Right. And as a Muslim woman here in America, what are some of the issues you would say that someone, uh, a Muslim lady from outside of America, wouldn't face? I mean, what are some of the issues facing Muslim women in America? Well, there's a few facing the converse in particular. First of all, marriage is difficult mm -hmm. because I think there's a lot of um, uh, Muslims don't really want to mix. When the, the last um, speech of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is yes. that there is no division amongst tribes. Mm -hmm. We're all equal, and this is one of the most beautiful things about Islam that attracted me. But I don't find that. I sometimes find families wanting their child to marry somebody from even the same village, let alone 